Hey Scorpio, welcome to my channel. This is Crystal High Queen. So this is a reading for you, uh, Scorpio Sun Moon Rising for second half of September 2021. If my videos resonate with you, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And let's just jump right in. So I've already cleared the energies in this space. I have pre-shuffled my cards so, so as to save some time. Okay. All right. What's the what are the main themes for Scorpio Sun Moon Rising for September second half, please? For September 2021, second half. What are the main themes for Scorpio Sun Moon Rising, please? Surrender. Hmm. So this is just energy, guys. It might resonate with you. It might be relevant for your person if you're in inquiring about someone. Okay, so just interchange however it um, resonates with you, all right? So surrender. So there's a need to let go of control in the second half of September. You are being advised to let go of control. Okay. So you might be doubting your situation. You might be doubting what's coming next for you in a connection, maybe with a person that you are interested in. This can also be a person's energy. All right, Scorpio. So just take it how it fits. So there's a need to surrender and let go of doubt, anxiety and control. Okay. Yeah, because there is love. You need not worry. If you are inquiring about someone, you need not worry because they do feel love for you. Okay. Don't worry about it. The situation is taken care of. Okay, just let go of control issues. Let go of self-doubt. What? Where is this going? Do they love me or not? Okay, so just let go of it, please. Everything is all right. Okay, and this can also be a person's situation. They, they are really trying to understand where you both stand. Okay, so for them... It, it might be getting a bit difficult to let go of this control because they are really doubting if this is going somewhere with you or not because they are in love with you. There's love here. Okay. So the divine might be asking your person to surrender and let go of control and doubt because this love is taken care of. All right, what's the energy surrounding Scorpio in the second half of September, please? What's the energy surrounding Scorpio, please? Again, see, a man holding a heart. So yeah, there's love. There's love here, guys. They do love you, but for some reason, it's getting hard for them to let go of control, okay? So they are learning to surrender. All right. What else, please? Yeah, again, because there's obsession. So the same cards came out for cancer as well. So if you want to check out the cancer reading, if you have cancer placements, it might resonate with you. You, you might want to check that out. All right. Anything else, angels? So this is basically... Your person is obsessed. They can't let go of you. And angel of love in reverse is, this is getting too emotional over this. Okay, so they might be losing balance because of all these emotions they are feeling right now. They also feel, yeah, because there's doubt here. So they feel that you don't love them back. Okay, you don't have feelings for them. So that's why angel of love in reverse, they think that you don't love them. And there's love here and angel of love in reverse is just below that. So yeah, they love you, but they are doubting that whether or not you love them. Okay, so that's why there's this emotional turbulence. All right, 
Again, you might be seeing a lot of red flowers lately. Okay, you might be dealing with the Leo because this person has um, his hair and this golden glow on his skin. So this is these are very Leo features to me. All right. So you might be dealing with a Leo. Your person might have Leo in their chart, um, like in major placements, or you might have Leo in your chart. So take it, how it however it resonates. All right. Okay. Anything else, angels? What else for Scorpio, please, in the second half of September 2021? Cornucopia, yeah. So, cornucopia in upright. This is abundance. This is happiness, okay? This is fantasizing, dreaming of beautiful things, beautiful connections, okay? So, there's a lot of abundance here, golden light streaming in. But in the reverse... This is sadness, okay? So even if they are dreaming about you or fantasizing about you, they, they feel that, you know, it's not, it's, it's just their uh, illusion. It's just in their mind. You don't really feel about them the way they do, okay? So this is sadness, basically. They don't feel very prosperous or fulfilled or content without you. So yeah, that's what the energy is. Hmm. Okay, let's see. What happened in the recent past for Scorpio, please? What happened in the recent past? So this can be two weeks ago or this can be a couple of months ago. So this is recent past. All right, guys. Hmm. So again, your person might have been really focused on you, but somehow again, they feel that you are not really interested. Look at how this moment is looking at this boy, but he's not even looking at her. Okay, so she's so focused on him, but he is not. So that's how your person feels. They feel that, you know, they are too much into you, but for some reason you are not interested. Okay. So, yeah, so in the recent past, because of this energy, your person might have, they might have really lost focus. They might have not uh, been able to do anything uh, properly in their life. Like if they're working, you were on their mind and they were not able to complete their projects or tasks in time. So this is like losing focus kind of an energy. Because they feel that you are not really interested, but they are so focused on you. So, yeah. All right. What's happening in the present, please? What's happening in the present? What's happening in the present for Scorpio, please? Yeah. So, they are still holding back. Look at how this old man is holding this coin so close to his heart. So that's that's where you are. You hold a very special uh, place in this person's heart. But they are holding back. They are not telling you that they do feel this way about you. Because, again, they feel that you are not interested for some reason. Okay? So presently also they are holding this energy. Why is the Four of Pentacles here, please? Why are they holding back? Why is the Four of Pentacles here, please? Because they don't want to look like a fool. Wow. They don't want to look like a fool. Okay, so yeah, again, their head is in the clouds. They are completely fantasizing about you. There's a puppy here. So they do feel this puppy love for you. Like, uh, you know, when we have a crush on someone in high school. So that's the energy they have for you. But uh, the, the fool here, they do want to take a leap uh, towards you, but they are holding back because maybe they don't want to look like a fool in front of you because it might be a bit embarrassing for them for some reason. Because bottom of the deck, we have the nine of pentacles. So this is a very confident, beautiful 
young woman okay she has her stuff together she's stable she's earning for herself she might be a business woman she might be working a regular 9 to 5 job but whatever this is she's fiercely independent okay she doesn't um i mean she she like all these nine pentacles here she's she's so you might be on the curvier side okay there there's something about statement jewelry as well so you might be into statement jewelry you might be a bit on the curvier side you might like to wear silk outfits or dresses or something like that but they find you really confident okay you are fiercely independent and it's a bit intimidating to them so maybe that's why they do want to take a leap towards you but they don't want to look like a fool they don't want to be embarrassed because they are intimidated by your confidence so they hold a really high um position for you in their heart and in their eyes okay what's happening by the end of september please what is this person doing by the end of september what's happening by the end of september 2021 please okay we have two three cards here okay hmm so with the three of cups there seems to be some kind of a gossip going on so either this this person's friends they are telling them you know they're giving them some bad advice you know don't go there no no she you know you'll just look like a fool or you'll look stupid or something so th there's a lot of gossip around this connection okay but with the 9 of cups your person does want to put all their energy and effort into you there are a lot of other cups here but this woman is pouring all her wine into just one cup so this is the cup that represents you so your person also might have a lot of options around them but they are quite focused on you because why because they find you really abundant again there's something about statement jewelry here okay silk dresses yeah why because you are the empress for them so there is no one as beautiful and abundant and you know nurturing and loving um as the em empress okay so she is a combination of all four queens in the tarot deck queen of wands queen of swords queen of pentacles and queen of cups so there's no one like her so she is at the top there's no comparison her heart is open she's very abundant whatever she does whatever she touches turns to gold kind of a thing right she's beautiful and she's really nurturing but she knows her value she's sitting on the throne here she will not approach she will not chase anyone right the person has to come to her in order to earn her love so that's how they see you guys that's how they are seeing you I told you with the 9 of pentacles you hold a very high position so basically you might they might have you know put you on a pedestal or something so it's intimidating to them and that is why they're just trying to hold back because they don't want to look like a fool their self doubt here they need to surrender they are overthinking basically all right so anything what's coming in the near future in this connection please what's coming in the near future 14 14 on the clock guys so if you are having self doubts in this connection just know that your person is mirroring you all right so there's mirroring going on here what's coming in this connection in the near future please what's going on here in the near future so event so this person knows you know if that that if they don't do something about this they are going to lose this okay so there's something about a beach a sunset on the beach maybe 
okay but this person knows that if they don't do something quickly or soon enough that you know they are going to lose this opportunity with you so they have that they are acknowledging that fact they know this that they will lose this and a great achievement in reverse yeah so again they know that this is going to be a loss if they don't really do something about it. There's a lot of self-doubt in your person and they need to surrender because if they don't, they are going to lose this opportunity with you and it's really going to cause them a lot of grief. Okay, so yeah, so I hope your person, you know, just comes around and they realize what they need to do and something happens in this connection if that's what you are desiring. All right, so that's your reading, Scorpio, for the second half of September. I hope you enjoyed it. If this resonated with you, please don't forget to like and subscribe and show me some love. I'm so eternally grateful. And I'll see you in my next video. Take care. Bye.